Here comes the boom. 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 Guys, I'm cooking cornfish. And the cornfish is already supposedly cooked with um old old bay seasoning, I believe it is, occasion seasoning. But I rinse the crawfish off when I get them. So a lot of the seasoning comes off. So I'll put the slap your mama. Because I'm obsessed with this stuff. And I'm making a small piece of salmon. Um, that's olive oil, um, fresh garlic mashed up. And I also season the salmon with the slap your mama. And what's next? And today for the first time I'm gonna make um fresh Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna make Brussels sprouts period because I've never even made canned Brussels sprouts. I don't think that would taste good to me. But I fucking love um what's the name of this spot? Damn. It's a burger place and they do uh shame on me because I love fucking burgers. And they do um, sauteed Brussels sprouts, right? Oh my God, I cannot tell y'all how much I love this shit. I went there, I was going there every fucking day to eat some damn vegetables. <laughs> I was supposed to be there for the burgers and so I'm just rinsing them off. My son is in here. He went to his father's today, um, cause today's Thursday. Do I want more? Do I want to be greedy? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. I can't eat after 12 today because tomorrow I have to go. And um, y'all like, damn, leave something for next time, but bitch. <laughs> Mind your bed. Hold on, y'all. So, yeah. Um. So, tom I cannot eat after 12. Tomorrow I'm going to get, uh, if you guys remember, I went and got an epidural in my neck. Um, because of that car accident, I've been having a lot of issues with my neck and stuff like that. So, I've been trying to, you know, I've been, excuse me, I'm all out of it. I've been getting treatments. And a lot of people are saying that they would just prefer to take the muscle relaxers and stuff like that. But, my whole thing is, I don't want to become, <coughs> excuse me, dependent on nobody's medicine. And I'm not too big on continuously taking medicine. You know, if they're putting a shot in my back, um, I believe, I forgot what they said it was. Um, if they're putting a shot in my back and it's a one-time shot and eventually my body could get rid of it, then that's fine. But I'm not about to be sitting here taking muscle relaxers. I'm going to put a little salt on this. I'm just clean. this is how I'm cleaning it out, guys. Hold on. If you notice, these things are, are tight together. You know, I can peel them, but they're tight together. So if there's any little insects or anything in there, I don't know. Maybe it's just me being paranoid, but I like to clean my motherfucking food, sis. Okay. I'm going to let this soak a little bit. And then when the salmon is done, I'm going to cook the salmon. I mean, make the Brussels sprouts. Yes, I'm going to show y'all when I'm done, honey. I throws down. I'm not making any starch. Um, I'm not making any potatoes. I could have easily cut some potatoes up and put it in with the crawfish. The thing is, this morning, did I have any bread? No. Actually, before I... Yesterday, I think I had quite a few uh, carbs. So, hold on. Because I know y'all like, why the fuck you got us? Talking to the damn Brussels sprouts. Um, yesterday I had quite a few carbs. Today, the only carbs I had was these um, hints of lime tortilla chips. Yeah. Hint of lime tortilla chips because I had that with the guacamole. And also, while I was eating that, I made a big ass fucking thing of spinach. And mixed greens. And I made them. Because you know when you cook that shit down. That shit go down to nothing. And I've been fiending for some fucking sauteed vegetables. And that's why I'm making me fucking Brussels sprouts. So they say when you are having sugar cravings and stuff like that. That you usually are in need of um, 
vegetables. Um, but I I feel like this weekend I overindulged on sugar. And I don't know if this is my body's way of balancing out or something because I'm literally craving green vegetables. So, um, and no, I'm not pregnant, bitch. Unless the sun and the moon had a fucking threesome with me, bitch, because uh, it would be immaculate conception. Uh, so, that is the sauteed Brussels sprouts. That's the um, salmon. And I seasoned the crawfish with... Um, the slap your mama, some crushed red peppers because I like it spicy, and some fucking Jose Quavo beer, some tequila. I ain't have no beer. It gets the job done. This shit is so good, man. This shit is so good. So this is cleaning solution. Now, I will put that small needle first to numb that ear in here. That is because later I'll put a little bit bigger needle, so you won't feel it. My name is Pear. I don't speak Spanish, however, so any kind of English you know would be helpful. Oh, 
All right, so you're going to take all this stuff with you, right? Do you want to take stuff home in a bag? No, you're good? Okay, my dear. You're welcome. Get rid of that. Nothing is in here, right? I'm not throwing away. Okay. I'm sure I'm not throwing away. But you'll give you blood transfusion, so don't worry. I'm going to Okay. Oh, good morning, Tura. Yes, I have all your information. I'm going to walk you out, okay? okay. You have everything. Your cell phone keys. We're going to go this way. Okay. All right. Just give the girls your name and they'll call your driver, okay? All right, thank you. All right, right. you're very welcome. You feel okay? Yes, I'm good. All righty. Talk to the girls at the desk. Thank you. Okay. Y'all, so listen to the dirty shit I did, right? So last night I was supposed to take a shower. And I didn't take a shower. And I should have taken a shower taking a shower because I knew I had to get up 5 30 this morning to get the shot on my back. Like y'all y'all seen, right? So me not thinking, I get the shot in my back, I come back and they like, oh you can't take a shower and you gotta keep the band-aid on. So, that means I didn't take a shower yesterday. Yesterday I washed my punkash, you know. I, t I unscrewed my punkash, dipped it in the sink, scrubbed it, you know, did my thing. But the plan was to take a shower today, and I wasn't even thinking. So, either I'm going to have to go against doctor's orders, or I'm going to have to dip my punkash in the sink again. And I don't want to dip my punkash in the sink two days in a row. It's dirty. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm getting ready to, uh, I didn't say anything, because it's not really a big deal. I'm not doing much. I gotta call my best friend, I'm about to call her. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call her after I record this. Anyway, so, I am, I had the baristas at the coffee shop, I told them, they wanted to go out. One of my, the girl Risa wanted to go out, but I told her, listen, my pocket said I can't really go out. She said she got me. But I was just like, why can't we do something in my house? We could do something in my house. Invite the other baristas. So it's just the baristas that's going to be here with the exception of one, two other people, I think. And I told everybody to bring something. And it's just going to be a little small get together. We're going to play a few games, drink, listen to music, and that's it. It ain't going to be no Pocono style type shit. Because this ain't family family. But this is, you know. My people's dead. So anyway, um, one of them got some whiting, so I'm gonna fry some whitings. I'm gonna make the rice. My other homegirl Risa is bringing the shrimp. Um, somebody else is bringing the flour tortillas. I'm also gonna make some uh, black bean type of puree type of thing, so we can have like uh, shrimp burritos or shrimp um, fish burritos or something like that, or tacos, whatever, whatever. Or if they just wanna eat the rice with the fish and the shrimp, whatever. But anyway, we got some Long Island iced tea or whatever. And maybe somebody else brings something else. I don't know. Somebody, I think it was a girl, Daisy, she bring chips and dip. And she made cupcakes. So it's going to be a small little feng shui or whatever. I just finished fake cleaning the house. I didn't have much to do because I had cleaned before I left for the Poconos. Um... So, I didn't have to, like, do anything crazy. I just wanted to wipe stuff down with bleach or whatever. But, yeah, that's what I'm up to right now. So, let me go figure out how I'm going to clean my whole body. <laughs> What's good, y'all? I just had that little get-together. Right? And somehow, someday, we, we start talking about R. Kelly. Now, I've been avoiding talking about R. Kelly uh, I think besides this little rant, I'm not going to speak about him because I am not one of them people when it comes to topics of racism or pedophilic or sadistic 
or uh, immoral behavior that could agree to disagree. How I feel is how I feel. And if you don't feel the way I fucking feel, go fuck yourself with a rubber fucking dick with blades in it. That's just the type of person I am. So I try not to have these discussions. That's why I don't have a channel that discusses racism and the battle of the sexes and stuff. Because I'm a very intense person. I'm not... I'm level-headed when it comes to almost everything else. But when it comes to things I feel I have a direct relation to or like it, it relates to an experience that I had or something like that, I won't talk about it. Because if you disagree with the with what I feel or you try to downplay or how I'm feeling or, or an experience that I had, we got a fucking problem. And that's why people like me can't get into politics. I'm very passionate about certain shit. So fast forward, right? Um, so the people from the coffee shop was here. Now, mind you, I'm cool with all of them, right? And this is not to say that I'm going to hold a grudge against this person, but it just annoys me that people will make the excuse to continue to listen to R. Kelly's music. The excuse that they will continue to have is, oh, the other guys in the industry was doing this as well. Oh, we knew about this before and we didn't stop listening to it then. Oh, the girls was consenting because they were 16 and all oh, their parents was pimping them out. I'm not saying that this person was saying all of this, but these are the things that I've been seeing and reading in conjunction with what this person was saying. Oh, his music is so good. I can't, I can't stop listening to his music. Oh, it's going to be hard for me to stop listening to his music. My problem that I have is um, massage no is I think it's called massage noir, black misogyny. That gets under my fucking skin because black men, it doesn't matter if they have a daughter or not. If it makes the black man look bad, they don't want to fucking own up to it. That behavior of R, R. Kelly is inexcusable. Niggas want to name Jay-Z. Niggas want to name Dame Dash. They want to name this person. They want to name that person. Just because those people did it does not mean that what R. Kelly did was fucking right. When I first saw that R. Kelly Pete tape or whatever, I was young. So I didn't understand the, the gravity. I didn't understand the profoundness of what I was looking at. So I didn't necessarily see it as a big deal in a sense. I didn't understand... Or I did not comprehend or register. This is an older man taking advantage of a child. Maybe because I have been also taken advantage of as a young girl. So to me, it was a normal thing to see. That's something fucked up to say. But it's the fucking fact. It's the fact of the matter. So that's why to this day. Now me noticing that as a woman. Because I've come to terms with my experiences in life, and I, I do a lot of self-reflecting, there's a lot of women that don't do that. So they're sitting there and they still talking about Aaliyah was a pass around. Oh, those young girls was fast asses. Oh, where was their parents and this, this, that, and the third. The blame is everywhere but on the fucking man that was manipulating and using his money, using his fame, and using his stature to fucking manipulate young girls. So me and this person is having a discussion. This, it, it should be no discussion. I don't mean to talk down to people, especially men, but I don't, don't fucking argue with me about some shit that's dead booty hole fucking wrong. That's like people who argue with you about why they should continue to smoke cigarettes. Are you dumb? If somebody cares enough to tell you, yo, you need to stop smoking. That shit stink. It's making your teeth yellow. It's making your nails look nasty and make your clothes stink. It's making you age badly. And you sitting there and you got a fucking argument against that? You look fucking dumb. There's no argument. Bite your fucking tongue and smoke your cigarette in peace and figure out a way to stop fucking smoking cigarettes. That's my point. Stop, figure out a way to stop listening to R. Kelly. Okay, his music is good. But if you did not hear his music, if, it, if all his music was erased somehow, some way, would you die? No. So what is the argument for? Oh, it's going to be hard to stop. I don't want to fucking hear it's going to be hard. I don't like triers. People that try. Do, motherfucker. Do it. Erase all his shit off your fucking playlist. And when you hear one of his songs come on on Spotify or Pandora or whatever radio station you're listening to or whatever, change the song. Is that going to kill you? We need to put people like him out of 
fucking commission. Point bank, period. But we cannot put people like him out of commission because the black woman's interest or safety is not top of the line to the black community. Not even to the black fucking woman. And that shit annoys the fuck out. This is why I, I, I stay within my... I see you conducting yourself a certain way and not even on some... You supposed to act this way. You supposed to act that way. I mean, like I see you um, praising men and you need a man in your life and your your womanhood is validated by the existence of a man in your life. Sister, I can't fucking roll with you. When I say I'm the end all be all, I don't give a fuck if I was on food stamps. I don't give a fuck if I had a job. I don't give a fuck if I did or did not have a degree. I'm the fucking end all be all. You know how I know I'm the end all be all? Because... Black women's names are always in these motherfuckers' mouth, even when black women are minding their fucking business. You know how powerful you have to be for motherfuckers to be worried about you when you're not worried about them? Nigga, my existence moves you. I walk into a room and you bothered. These niggas got the game fucked up. That R. Kelly shit, I don't want to fucking hear it. It's hard to quit his music. Shut the fuck up. It's hard to quit crack, you dumbass. It's not hard to fucking hit skip. I don't want to hear that shit. Uh, what's good, y'all? Yeah, today's January 12th. Um, it's, um, it's the day of the funeral, um, for Miss Esther, my best friend's mother. Honestly, y'all, I'm feeling way better than last night. Not last night, but... I had, um, I'm kind of out of it, I need to get it together. I had, I was just going through it last night, having anxiety and all that over this, and I'm like, damn, the crazy shit I'm saying to myself, I don't even want to go, I don't want to go, I don't want to see, I don't want to see her. I don't want to see her like that. I don't want to see her. That's what I'm telling myself. So I was having a really rough. I was having a really rough night. <sighs> Clearly I'm out of it. I was having a really rough night. Um, but this morning I woke up and I was just like, today is the day. Do what you gotta do. So, um, I think my best friend left already. I wanted to be there early, but then I had that little thing last night and I overdrank, and I just needed rest because. Remember yesterday I had woke up 5 o'clock in the morning as well. And when I got back, I caught myself trying to take a nap. When I got back from the um getting my shot in my back, I caught myself taking a nap. I wasn't really taking a nap because my mind had been racing all over the place or whatever. Oh. Then I started to get ready for this little thing. I cooked everything or whatever. And then um they didn't leave out until two, two something, which I didn't necessarily mind, but I, I did, I do, ha I did have to wake up early today. So right now it's nine o'clock. Uh, I gotta get something in my stomach because that all that food I cooked yesterday I didn't even eat. The fish came out too salty. But that usually happens when I'm cooking when I'm tired. When I'm tired and I cook, I usually over season. Yeah, the fish was salty. I was kind of mad. But I ain't had no business eating it anyway. Come on now. Necklace, I'm not in the mood for this shit.
I didn't even wash my um my black long wig. So I think I'm gonna just put my purple wig on. I'm gonna wash my face right now, brush my teeth. Oh, I wish I had a long uh, a black shirt. I could have wore under because I don't feel like having my back and my stomach out. But I ain't got no black shirt to wear. Like a black tank top. Oh, I do have a black tank top. I'll probably find it before I leave out. If not, I just got to put on extra um, extra clothes. So that way my stomach and my back won't be out in the cold. I'm going to be back, y'all. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Esther's youngest daughter, Erica. I'm the, um, <laughs> I'm the, um, I'm her youngest daughter. Um, the ghetto loud friend? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I knew Erica since erasers and barrettes. And Miss Esther lived around the corner. And I distinctly remember always going to Esther's house to eat up her food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's that was one of She would have containers in the refrigerator full of food. And I didn't care what it was, I was eating. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, Miss Esther, I'm hungry. And she would get up and refry something. <laughs> and she would make it for me. So those of you, uh, those of us, young girls, who lacked um, mothers like Esther, we ran to a woman like Esther. She was always in school. She was always on that corner taking care of somebody's kids. She was always feeding somebody. And I remember going to her because I wanted to hear dirty jokes and I wanted to hear a curse. <laughs> <laughs> she was my fellow Capricorn. And although this is really hard for me, I can't imagine what it's like to be born from this woman and have to deal with this. So I just wish everybody in here peace. Everybody that she touched, she's at peace. And don't rush the process, but you will get there. Amen. 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 She's doing better than me. I be looking like... No, girl. No, girl. Don't break your damn neck. Leave her. Oh. 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 She's That's right. Oh. Close the them. She's fixing them. Yeah. Hey. You won't be going in all. Jump down and get your eagle on, girl. Hey. Mo's not waiting for us. Come on, y'all. All right. All right. One. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, she cheating. She pulled the shot. I did it. It's the same. I've seen it. We all even. I've seen it. Y'all playing. We all even. All right. Shitty, where's your cup at? As usual. In my stomach. All right. Come on, let me pick this up. Guys, you're going to look at it. Mmm. So what's that? Like so. Oh, you see everybody's faces like. like it tastes like there's salt in the air. Why do we torture ourselves? All the time. <laughs> Why do we do it? We need to deliver that other stuff. Right. That it, that, that, it, that ten dollars online. I, what? First of all, I took like ten dollars straight. And I'm like, nah, this ain't right. <laughs> what? Don't worry about us. That burn. Oh, 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 drink. Can look at me. Don't do what I'm doing to her. To her. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? What? <laughs> You're not annoying me. It's not. Where did those headphones come from? No. Oh. They're mine. Do y'all want that? It looks fashionable on me. What happened? No, no, no. Like, Bird box. <laughs> I think it's a like, girl. Girl. girl Some, somebody, baby. <laughs> cool. <laughs> 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 like it turns red, and I can never really pop it. Oh, but you can make it. Baby. Inside, inside. Girl. Toddler. Watch it one time. Just one time is all you need. First of all, I was trying to figure out how to pop it. And I was like, on YouTube. Yeah, I'm not about to be too. Oh, no. Not on my vlog. Guys. What's good? I'm back home. Um, earlier was the viewing the funeral. Earlier was the viewing the funeral. 
then the media family went to the burial and me and the other friends and you know whoever went to the repast helped set up i helped clean up after it was done then we went to my best friend's house and a lot of her immediate family was in her house and we was there taking shots drinking or whatever whatever so i know i got to drink a whole bunch of water because i don't want to wake up feeling like shit. i came home took all my shit off my eye this eye was bothering me. I had a lash in my eye, so I couldn't see. So I couldn't see to the point where I didn't even know if I had my contact in. Because I'm like, bitch, this shit is looking blurry. And that's how I would see if I didn't have my contact in. So I came home, and something was like, take those contacts out. Let your eyes breathe. I'm going to try to start wearing my glasses while I'm in the house. Um, if y'all see me in my house, and y'all see me without my glasses, please say, put your glasses on while you're in the house. Because I will literally forget. I'm very forgetful when it comes to stuff like that. Because I will come in the house. Like say if I'm going out and I put my contacts in. I will come in the house and not even remember to take them off. So. Whenever I upload a video. If you see me in my house and I don't have my glasses on. Put put your glasses on while you're in your house. So that way I could start to remember. Because I damn sure remember to check my YouTube comments. Ain't that some shit? Alright. So um. Hold on. Bitch. I got an appointment on February 4th. Diagnostic department. Is this for my teeth? This better be for my teeth because I don't have no other fucking appointment. And I got my motherfucking test results, bitch, and everything was good. The fuck they talk about. So. Okay. Anyway. Just checking my mail. Something is telling me to keep this appointment letter, so I'ma do that. Um Yeah guys. Somebody asked why I don't and I think I should uh, should have been mentioned this. And I don't know if I actually have. But somebody asked me why I don't wear my natural hair out more. I don't know how to do my natural hair to be honest. And even when I do washing wash and goals. I feel like the first day they feel extremely moisturized. And then the day after that it's, 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 it's something that I'm, I'm not doing properly. Um. So that's why I don't do wash and goes. And then when I do do a, when I do do a wash and go, I tend to leave them in, and then next you know my hair's matted and all of that. So I don't want to deal with that. So I don't know how long I I think I, I've been had these braids for a week, and I already have no growth, guys. My hair grows very fast, but my hair is prone to breakage. Um, maybe this year it has not been that prone to breakage. I have not been having my hair out much or doing much with my hair. Um, I have been using rice water. I'm going to have a whole hair video. I'm just trying to figure out when I'm going to do it because I do want to keep my braids in for um, some time. Oh, I wanted to put apple cider vinegar on my face. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, I had that little funk shui yesterday, and I got some napkins out of it. <laughs> so, 
some paper towels and some plates okay so that's a good thing i also got some chips they i thought they would have opened these chips but they didn't and i think there's a little bit of dip in here so i'm about to eat that i ate at the repast but i ain't want to be too greedy i am known as the greedy friend but god damn now i had a hefty plate but i, I ain't feel like eating again and the people was like bring stuff home bring stuff home and I'm I'm kind of weird. I don't like carrying food or all that extra. I just don't like all that extra. So I said no, but of course I'm paying for it. Oh, I don't know if this is the end of the vlog. Um, I got that epidural in my lower back. I don't know if there's a mark there or not, but. I did not go to the gym. I believe it has been three days. So, sorry, model frame. I had, did not go to the gym. I believe it, it has been three days. So, tomorrow, I'm telling you, my body is about to hate me. I didn't even get to wash the dishes from yesterday night. Because I was, I, I went to sleep around 3.30 this morning. No, yeah, this morning, and I, I was up by 8.30 this morning, so I can go to, you know, the funeral and the viewing and all that extra stuff. I'm just now getting home. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. I'm not doing them dishes right now. That's what I should have took, um... The bottle of water. Also, comment down below if you do not and you can't, you don't like the taste of tap water. Comment down below if you don't like the taste of tap water, and comment down below if you love tap water like me. I know people say it's nasty. I love fucking New York tap water. I do. And I don't know if that's because when I was younger and I was thirsty and I'd be like, Mom, I'm thirsty. And she'd be like, drink your spit or drink some water. Motherfucker, I go right in that bathroom. Go to the sink and drink water right out the fucking sink. <laughs> the fuck you in? Drink your spit and drink some water. Okay, sis, you got it. I'm going to drink me some water. Yeah, I'm about to put some apple cider vinegar on my face and some castor oil on my face. I had a long day. I've been around a lot of people. A lot of badass care. Different environments. Oh, my eyebrows. Yeah. I forgot to take my eyebrows off. Uh, excuse me, I was rude. I really don't like when women belch. That's rude. I know. Yeah, I got a pot of rice on the stove that I need to throw that rice out. I got a pot of beans that I'm supposed to throw out. So tomorrow is Sunday. Hopefully drinking this water will give me some um, energy. For in the morning, because they say if you drink water at night, you should be able to wake up easily in the morning. Um, so hopefully that happens, and I'm able to get up. The house is not dirty. I made sure when he was here, bitch, I was putting paper towels everywhere. They put their plate down. I picked up their plate, put a paper towel. Bitch, get this. Pick up that. Nah, cause y'all not gonna leave me with no motherfucking mess. I am not Molly the maid, motherfucker. No. Oh. I'm still going around my eyebrows. I need to give it up. I'm about to get in a fucking bed. I don't feel like taking a shower, but I'm going to dip this cat in some motherfucking water. You dig? Uh. Yeah, I'm going to dip this cat in water, but I'm tired. I'm tired. I had a long day. I had a long day yesterday from going to get the shot in my back to coming back and not getting no sleep and then having that little get together yesterday, then getting up this morning and doing all that extra shit. I feel like I haven't got sleep in two fucking days, sis. Word the blood. Word the 
So, I don't know if this is the end of vlog, but be. I'm gone.